one. Hello everyone, it's Tommy2009, and I'm finally back after a little short hiatus for a new Thomas and Friends video. Now, for those of you who are wondering when I'm going to do a review on this and the Outs to Beast plushies, don't worry, I, I promise I'll do that, but it might take a bit of a while depending on the certain weather, but if you have a lot of patience, I'm sure like you might enjoy these as much as the um, Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash videos, which by the way, I still want to say thank you for getting those to 1,000 views. It really helps out a lot. But, for this video, this is the final installment for now, at least until we get Gordon, James, and the other talking Thomas and Percy from the Allegiance Go series. But for now, this is the final installment of the talking Trackmaster trains. So here we have Thomas the Tank Engine and his best friend Percy. Now these are from the older type of talking trains that came out in 2021. And we did a review on the talking James Gordon Diesel and Thomas from the original CGI series. And last week we took a look at Diesel Conan with From Allegiance Go. But here we have Percy and Thomas from the Trackmaster Doc set that came with Cranky. Now I don't have that set. We just bought these off of eBay as replacement parts. But I think this really helps like if you want to get these individually. So here we have Percy and Thomas from the CGI series. Now, they do look the same in terms of proportions to the other Trackmaster, Thomas and Percy, but, no th but nothing beats Tomy, in my opinion. I think the Tomy Thomas will always be the best one. Now, there was a Departing Now series, but Sally got discontinued in 1995, and I think that's what influenced the Tomy range, even though it came out in 1992. I mean, I don't know. I think it would have been nice if Departing Now continued as well, considering that it's super rare and nowadays, but Tommy seems to be a bit easier. Now, I know most people weren't a fan of the Trackmaster line back when it came out, and I do sort of agree, because I still think that Tommy Thomas is the best one, and I don't understand why they would change it. Like, excuse me, I don't I don't get why they would change certain merchandises like Wind Railway and Ertl and in favor of the take-along trains. I don't know if they were trying to be cheap, or if they're just trying to, like, Modify them just because, for no reason, I don't know. But I still think the classic Thomas merchandise, like Wooden Railway and Tommy, will always be amazing. And Ertl. But anyways. Here we have the talking Thomas Percy. Now, it did take a while for them to, like, get here. Because we, no, it took a few days, but it took me a few days to, like, actually give them more detail. Since I had to paint the running boards white. And the cylinder on Percy green with the red stripes. But... I do think it's sort of lifted them. Now, they do have the rivet detailing from season 23 and 24, which I don't know why they added that. I'm sure no one was a fan of this change, but I do love that the eyes are more detailed than the old ones, considering they have white in the pupils. I think it's to give them life like the other ones, but anyways, for those of you who have not heard of the talking trains, they have this button on top. They interact with each other, and they also talk. So, but yeah, I think these are some of my favorite things that Mattel has ever made, as well as the Cars merchandise, but in terms of Thomas, this is the best thing they've done. I would say that their merchandise has improved since 2021, and I do think it would have been nice to get more talking trains like these. And hopefully they'll do more. But anyways, now... These talking trains can be a bit random sometimes because they'll all talk at the same time. But when these two talk, like, either one of them will interrupt the other or they'll jinx each other. So that's something I didn't think I would see. I guess if you're wondering, the Allegiance Go engines can talk to the CGI ones. So it should be sort of funny seeing the original Thomas talking to his younger version. Where did you put the other CGI trains? In the garage with the other Tomy trains. Oh, they're not in here. Yeah, they're not in here. Okay, I was now, if you want... wondering if they were all going to start talking at once. If you want to see them, check out that video, but... Be prepared. I mean, I wouldn't want them... I wouldn't want every single train to talk right, to each other. Right, that's what I was afraid. You were going to push the button and it was just going to be like... I mean, luckily talking. there's only six all in just go trains so far, but there might be eight okay. when we have Gordon and James. And yes, I did put batteries in Mia and she still does work. <laughs> Is she turned on? I was worried that most of these talking trains would glitch, but... Mm. Since, like... When you turn them off as they're talking, they'll just stop. 
without even finishing their sentences, <gasps> which is sort of weird. I wish I could do that to people. Just quick. I mean, a lot of people do seem to talk sometimes. Like, like if you just need someone to be real quiet real quick. Sometimes there'll be a large group of people in one area talking at once, like uh -huh. the school cafeterias. But I do like these trains. But anyways. And yes, they have the classic whistles. Thomas is voiced by Joseph May, and I think Percy is voiced by Christopher Ragland, which I'm not going to lie, he does a pretty nice job as Percy. Now, unfortunately, they don't make any noise when they're moving, but I think it would be an interesting Oh, yeah, thing. it is quiet. The other ones you had last time made noise. But if you can hear that, it is making a noise. It, mm -hmm. It's not that quiet. Oh, and also, they have these tabs, so if you have, like, a piece of track from the set, you could like, stop them. Or you could stop them with your fingers. Right on time! Hi, Mia! Duh. <laughs> okay, thank God you didn't say anything. I do love that Thomas and Percy both talk to each other rather than just the all just go ones talking to them. Hello, friends. I think these two are more consistent. <laughs> You're a great friend. No, that's cute when they say that. Also, I mean, sometimes these talking trains use alliterations, mm -hmm. like in the Miller era, but it doesn't bother me that much. So now this Thomas is sort of like the other Thomas with any Clarabo, but this one isn't covered in dirt. So it is nice to have a stock center, Thomas. All right, now let's move on to Percy. Now, honestly, I don't know if I like him more than Thomas or not, but I mean, he's still pretty nice. They're pretty comparable. Tracks. Yeah, and he. As far as features and. As far as features and stuff, they're pretty comparable. I do love that he has the classic whistle from the original series. Special delivery! Hi, Percy! Hi, Percy! Hi, friend. Hi. Where are you headed? Over the bridge. 
I hope you clap. I hope you crash. You're the one that put the batteries in her, dude. I know. <laughs> Did you think that it was just gonna magically like her again? <laughs> My opinion will not change on you. It's like Dana next girlfriend, you forgot. Like, oh man, I forgot I don't like her at all. <laughs> I almost said the wrong thing. Talking at once. Honestly, I don't think Nia deserves any friends at all. <laughs> then turn her off next time. <laughs> That's the good thing about him. I mean, I would, but I would still like for these engines to work. Mm. I mean, imagine what they would sound like if they were on low battery. <laughs> Their voice. <laughs> like that? Well, I mean. Hi, friend! They would probably have a low pitched voice. If they ran low, on low batteries, but imagine like that. I don't know if anyone would like would probably make a video where their trains are on low battery, but. <laughs> what did he say? Goodbye, Bertie. Um. Bertie. Um, Percy said bubbling boilers. Bubbling boilers. Yeah, I was talking about the alliterations. Yeah. Like how the narrator would say, "An idea flew into Thomas's funnel." Mm hmm. Yeah, sometimes the other talking trains will like barge in when they're when these two are talking. Oh, they're interrupting. On my way. Yeah. Bye, yes, friend. Is it Nia or Kana saying bye? Um, I don't know. It's annoying, whoever it is. Hello, and I would hope that's Kana. That one's cute. Whiff. Pulling the mail train. Yeah. I like his voice. Wait, I do like Whiff as well. Started wondering why they didn't make a CGI version of him. Like, that would have been amazing. I also would have loved it if they still made Duck Doll Douglas and Oliver, but they never got merchandise. Aside from, like, what a busy day. I don't know. Hello, friends. Hello, it's sort of sad that we don't get merchandise for the fan favorite characters, but good thing that the fandom makes custom models. I bet you do. Mm. Alright, honestly, this was a bit of a shorter review since I only have two engines here, but it was still nice to hear them talk to each other, as with the other talking trains. And they can be a bit random sometimes. I think that's what makes them charming. Alright, so, if you enjoyed this video, please tell me in the comments below. And do you like Thomas or Percy more? Percy, I think both of them are very nice. Alright, so... Stay tuned for when I do a review on this and Beyond Studios plushies next, hopefully, when I have time. And I'll try to do more Thomas Friends content for you and see if I can make more videos than I did last year, depending on the weather. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!